welcome. I'm just getting the stream set up here, I think. Um, we should be pretty good. As far as all that goes, give me just a second here. We will get the chat on screen as well. We're going to be uh, hanging out modeling some stuff today. This model is complete. I'm printing it now to make sure that everything works. I had a issue with the uh, first first version of the sheath here. Let's go take a look at this in render mode because it's a little prettier. And that issue was that it was just a little bit too thin. So I printed it, but uh, I had to thicken it up a little bit because it's rather large and it reduced the size. Let's go back in here real quick. And like this. Okay, there we go. Chat should now be live on the screen. Let's give it a little test here before we start modeling. Let's see how we're doing. So as you can see, I did do a render of this. This is what it looks like completed here. Looks like our chat is working. Feel free to chime in on the live chat. We're just gonna be hanging out today and doing some more modeling. This is the uh, the picture that I rendered. I did leave a little bit of detailing off of the tailpiece here. I will go back and do that before I release the final file. But as I said, I wanted to make sure everything fit together and that part really has no pieces that it fits with. So we're printing the ruby and the blade as well as another copy of the sheath. And I can show you here the uh, Let's take a look at the hilt, because the hilt came out pretty nice. Let's see if I can get my camera working. And it don't want to try that again. Sorry about the black screen, folks. One second here. There we go. Okay, so uh, this is the hilt. Uh, it came out pretty nice, and I'm very, very happy with it so far. Um, as you can see, the uh, sheath does fit. Um, at the moment, though, as you can see, there was literally a part where the blade, where there's a groove in the blade, where it was too thin, so those fine details showed through the print. So um, it came out pretty well, other than that little part there. Uh, so I, what I've done is I added another millimeter to that wall so it should be able to print. Um, I printed this way, and apparently that wall was less than 0.4 millimeters, so it just excluded it. Um, I could have done horizontal expansion and done it that way, but then the whole thing might not fit properly. So um, again, we can cram this in here. It's a little bit broken because it was weak there. That's why we're redoing it. Um, but all in all, it's not a bad looking knife. Um, it'll look better with the ruby in there and of course with some paint and finish but uh, unfortunately that part did not come out this however is uh, my wife likes this she says it's very stabby it uh, fits my hand pretty well grips about perfect and the other way around as well now I scaled this model up quite a bit uh, and the reason I did that is so I could get all those details in there and I'm printing it at about 30% of its current scale. So um, that's something to keep in mind. The files, I will resize when I release them. So if you're interested in the Wheel of Time, and yeah, you're in the right place. I think we're going to be going for the Aes Sedai ring today. I think that's our goal to make. Um, and... I did find a nice picture on Twitter uh, that was a pretty good view of the entire ring. Let's see if I can find it again and bring it back up. Uh, they were giving one away. Uh, I personally hate this ring, okay? Um, I think it should be something smaller, more like uh, just the Ouroboros. Um, but... Uh, 
I understand why they put the gems in there so that you can see the color of the Aja, but it's just, it's, it's described as a tiny little ring in the books, and it's huge in the show. I'm um, having a little bit of a hard time finding the picture I was looking at. Show you what I'm scrolling through here. Um, decent, decent. Um, there was. That's the one I want right there. Okay, so you can see there is the Ouroboros here. There is the actual ring down here. Um, let's see if we can make something similar. Start with sketch and let's see. This is tough because I want to make sure I can see my chat, but I kind of need to see the ring too. So, okay, all right, let's go here. take this get a construction line vertical and create. we need a circle three point circle let's check this picture again Real subtle. Okay, let's get started. And okay, so now let's take this, this, this 
one trying to do it all. It's because this isn't straight. It's alright. Sketch. Oh, okay, so let's create a sketch here. Create a sketch. Okay, now Just getting everything kind of dialed in here. That should do. Now, sketch right here. Circle, three point circle. Regular circle. Give it a. 
five. Okay, and then this is going to go up. Three. It was uneven there for a minute. All right, so create sketch. No. This and this axis here join. Okay, and just real quickly to bring in my reference, this is the picture that I'm looking at here. And I think I'm doing a pretty decent job. Do need to get those orbs in here. So. Create sphere. So let's do this this way. Create sphere. Those two. Let's make it three. Okay, now move.
top view, rotate, 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 should rotate it the other way. Okay, now, modify, body, create copy. Okay. Not a bad start to our ring so far. I think that that will probably work out when we get there. Uh, yeah, dude, I do still have a Discord. I haven't been on it in a while. I can send you a link. I just gotta get a hold of it, which I haven't downloaded Discord in a while. Um, but yeah, yeah I'll, I'll I'll get on that because I've had a few people asking me so. Um, once again, just a quick comparison. This picture is actually from Twitter, the Wheel of Time account, where they were giving it away. So, I mean, it's not exact, but we're looking pretty close so far. Obviously, mine doesn't have the stone or the Ouroboros. So we need to do that next. Welcome, welcome to the stream. If you're just joining us, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you would like. Uh, these files will be available to my Patreon supporters when all is said and done. If, you, if you'd like to get your hands on those, you'll have to join my Patreon. Um, or know somebody who is and is willing to cheat me to give to you. Which, I mean, it's pretty common, I guess, but uh, I'm not complaining. So a lot of you are joining to see the dagger. Let's see the dagger then. Here it is. Uh, if you'd like to see a nice rendering of it, we can do that as well. So um, this is uh, looking at it in the Fusion 360 rendering engine. And I actually have a better picture here. So um, the rendering came out pretty nice. I am in the process of printing it. As I said, I printed the sheath, but there was a part that was a little too small, so it didn't quite work out. Welcome, welcome. If you're just joining us, we are making a Wheel of Time items today. I've already made Matt's knife from Shadar Lagoth, and I am currently working on the Aes Sedai ring now. Um, we need to save this file. This is not my favorite version of the Aes Sedai ring. I like the smaller Ouroboros better, but it is what it is. I understand why they made that visual change. And I'll show you the picture that we are making this from as well. This was tweeted on the Australian Prime Amazon account. So um, this is a replica of the ring they actually use. You can see there's a snake texture there and on the Ouroboros that we will be putting in as well. For now though, we have one body. Let's go ahead and make it gold. take a look at this in the render engine as well see what we get all right so this is our ring so far we'll actually take a 
draft quality rendering these go quicker. It does take a minute to render, so while we're waiting, we can go back and look at the dagger again. Now this is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of work. Not to toot my own horn, but I am very, very pleased with it so far. Try to stay pretty true to the pattern, and actually, if you look here, in the book, it talks about these two intertwined snake patterns. Um, there is actually snake heads in here. Uh, that is directly pulled from a screenshot. So this pattern is accurate pretty much almost exactly. Um, the other interesting thing is a lot of times you see uh, people in their version of this, they visualized it with the ruby down here. Um, this is referred to as a ruby hilted dagger. And when you're talking about a dagger or a sword or a blade, this part here is the hilt. Generally, for it to be qualified as an actual hilt, it needs to be a separate piece that is mounted in a blocking fashion although this one is somewhat a hilt because it flares out here uh, but the hilt is the piece right between the blade and the handle this is called the pommel and in this case this one's equipped with a skull bashing uh, two spikes which would be pretty deadly in themselves so uh, we do have one more render here a little bit cleaner render without the background picture if it doesn't take two days to load so this is it. This is the basic dagger. Obviously, the version in the show has a little bit of dirt on it to signify the fact that it's not only old, but also some of the darkness hiding within it. So let's go back. And still rendering. It's going to take a little while. While it's doing that, we can go back to the design workspace. And we need to add a stone in here. I'm thinking, since this is going to be a released file, that we need to, let's see, let's see, I want to create a sketch. Um, so in order to release this file, I'm not sure what Aja you want to be, so we're going to have to find a way to make the stones interchangeable. So first gouge this out and give ourselves a little bit flatter surface to work on here. I'm going to cut. Make sure we're not coming out the bottom. There we go. And create sketch. I want to give ourselves a little bit of leeway here. It's probably not enough. We can always do a little bit of sanding and grinding. We do offset half a millimeter because we want a different object. Okay. We'll call that good. There's good because we're going to take this and this and fill it. Okay. Then there's a way to facet this. Go ahead and give it a material here. Let's do blue. Glossy blue, that'll do. Right.
All right, so I want to make a couple of cuts to this and make it look more like a stone that has been cut. So we will do that. Uh, and then we need to add the oro 